Hello, and we're back with Gunsmith Part 21. This is a bit of a unique one because you need to make two guns. So firstly, we'll make the M1911 because it's very, very easy. You can see the final parts here, but it's very, very straightforward, this one. And then the other one is the M700, and this is this, if you wanted a little shot of the parts before we begin. So let's get started with the M1911. You could probably buy one off the fleet, but we're going to modify Peacekeeper's version just for now. So this is very simple. We need to change the grip over to this, the Pac-Man American Legend. Add that. Then we need to add the AO muzzle, this thing. Anarchy out muzzle brake. Add that. Then we need the trigger guard mount so that we can add a flashlight or a laser. Put that on and then I'm just going to use the TBL which is the NC Star blue laser because it's the one that works and is the cheapest. So that's basically all we need to do. We're going to select the weapon here and we're going to assemble but we can't assemble that so we're going to go and hand that one in to begin with. Great. Now the next one, the M700. So the M700 you can buy from the traders directly. My favorite way to get it is to go on to Jaeger and use the barter. Now the barter doesn't come up straight away because Beard Oil has quite a high internal price. I've already just done this barter to complete the build. And if you see, Beard Oil comes very cheaply on the flea markets. This is normally a bit cheaper than getting it directly from the trader. We required search, we can see we get the model 700 there. It basically comes as the default version, so we'll start with that one. Now for this, we need all of the ModX parts. I'm just going to get rid of the magazine to start with, and we're going to add this, which is the ModX Gen 3 chassis, which is the first piece that we need. Then we need to go and add the ModX handguard, second. And then finally, we also need to add this mount here too, the ModX rail, otherwise the quest won't complete. Onto this, we're going to add a mount. We need a 30 mil mount, so we're going to use the Lebev one, because this is the cheapest. And inside that, we need 1500 sighting range. So the cheapest one for that usually is this guy, the Leopold Mark IV. So we're going to put that inside our ring. Then we need a small magazine. So we're going to use this PMAG AC. This one comes from Skier, the five rounder. I'm going to stick that one in there. And then we'll just add the basic A2 pistol grip because we don't need anything better than that. Now here's where there's two deviations in the build. My usual instinct with this stuff, because normally Gunsmith is more ergo focused, would be to go for the Silencer Co hybrid thread mount adapter and then the hybrid 46. Hybrid 46s are quite expensive on the flea, but as has been the same through the whole of time, you can get four rams for them. Now the problem is, is that the rams are actually pretty expensive, like these end up coming to about 60k. If this is cheap, say they're under 10k or something, then what you can do is literally just add on the UBR Gen 2 stock and this will complete the build. So we've got enough ergo and then we're under 500 total for this. If I go and select my weapon, which is this one, I can't assemble it because this one is exactly the same and you can see this one actually does work. But before we go and hand it in, I'm going to swap over to the other version, which is maybe a little bit cheaper if the hybrids are really expensive. And this one is the Thunder Beast. So this is the 30CB, the Thunder Beast arms muzzle brake. Put that on. And then we put the Ultra 5 on top of that. The Ultra 5 is usually quite cheap on the flea market. There's also a bar to here for a Tagilla cap and two leather caps too. So this can sometimes be about 30k, which is potentially a better option. However, this makes our ergo a little bit low. So instead, you then have to swap over to something else. I usually use the Viper because this is a little bit easier. So if we assemble that instead on our gun, and we go back, you can see that this one also works. We can go and hand this one in instead. You can do whichever one is cheaper at the time. We're going to hand it in. We'll be on to Gunsmith Part 22 once we get past a, another 24-hour delay.